everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru of Brent Storage here. This is our 2022 Subaru Forester Touring. So our mid-level trim in the 2022. So this got a facelift this year. Different front end, different front grille, different fog light bezels even. But overall, same great Forester that we all know and love. Mid trim level is the first trim level where you get the power lift gate. So that can be controlled from the key fob, third button down, the door, or the driver's seat. There's a button by the driver's seat, or on the driver dash, it should say. At the bottom here, we get those little black circles. Those are the backup sensors. They will actually apply the brakes if you think you're gonna hit something in reverse. Great for parking lots. Now in the back of the Forester, you get that nice big boxy rear end wall, wide, tall, and deep, lots of room for storage. Privacy cover hides everything from the top of the seats down. It is easy to remove. It's just a telescopic piece. You can see there's a little spring in there and it just pulls right out. Cargo tray, standard on the Touring model. It's got a little bit of a lip, help contain anything. You do a garbage run or something and a bag leaks. It's not going all over. It should be mostly contained. We've got grocery bag hooks on either side. Hook your grocery bag, loop over that, stops things from tumbling around. 12 volt power point. And new for 22, we have the grocery bag hooks up top. They call them grocery bag hooks. I don't know if I would necessarily use them for groceries while I'm driving, as that would be in my vision, but you do you. Now, with these new power gates, you can actually close it manually, you can close it, or you can lock and close it, which is very handy, so you don't have to fish your keys out of your pocket or walk back up front and click lock after you do it. But you just pull and it power assists very very handy now in the second row there's a ridiculous amount of room for passengers lots of headroom nice tall vehicle so even taller people fit in the second row out of the middle here we have the fold down armrest with the cup holders and we also have vents out of the center console as well as two usb ports for any charging needs but yeah, the vents out of the center, in addition to the ones underneath each seat, ensures that the back heats up and cools down very efficiently. Touring is also the first trim level where you get the panoramic sunroof moonroof combination. It is a proximity key, so to lock it, touch it so long as the key's within about three, three and a half feet, and then to unlock, you just walk up, put your hand in, there you go. Power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. We've got a power driver seat, including lumbar support. Very, very comfortable seats. They're the cloth with kind of the leather bolstering. Being push button, so long as your foot's on the brake and the key's inside the vehicle, it goes green. Foot off the brake, it's not green. Green means go. We've got those orange lights that pop up in your side, in the sides of your mirrors. That's your blind spot detection. That lets you know someone's in your blind spot on the corresponding side. Doesn't eliminate shoulder checking, but it sure does help. It's a nice aid. Left-hand side of the steering wheel here, we've got our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right-hand side has our adaptive cruise, so the cruise that follows the vehicle ahead of you at a set distance. You get to select it. One to four bars. Four bars at 100 kilometers an hour is approximately 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you. We have lane centering that works above 60 kilometers an hour. So long as these two color stereo eyesight cameras can see the road lines, it'll actually illuminate and show you which side it can see, and it'll give you gentle steering input either way. Heated steering wheel, which best thing ever. Uh, it does not heat between the seams here and here, and there's about a half inch spot where it won't heat here, but kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands is where it heats. Now, we are talking about these eyesight cameras, so they've changed them, uh, the surrounds for them a little wider, they're closer to the windshield, you can't accidentally touch the lenses, and it's got a wider field of view. I think they call it eyesight 4.0, it's the most up-to-date eyesight system available. Now, this little display up here, we can cycle through it with the info button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. It gives you a bunch of different information depending what you're looking for. I personally like the water temp, oil temp one. It's also where our climate control displays and it is dual zone. So it ranges from 30 on the high side all the way down to 15 on the low. Freezing to tropical depending how you and your passengers like it. Easy to sync it back to just driver control temperature. It shows you where your airflow is. Easy to use. The Touring is the first trim level where you get that nice, large 8-inch display. It is all touchscreen, or we have the physical buttons down here. 
access your apps, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Once you register the vehicle, you'll have the My Subaru app access, media, put it in reverse, backup camera pops up, rear assist braking, that's the automatic emergency braking for the rear, parking sensors, and you can see the green box there, that's saying the parking sensors are letting you know that you're close to something, or getting close to something, but you're not at a point where you need to hammer the brakes yet. And then you can actually clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle. It's got its own little, uh, I don't want to say sprayer, but it allows you to drain fluid over. It's pretty cool. Great thing for here in the north with these sloppy roads that we got. Down here, our climate controls, driver's side temp, fan strength, passenger side temp, your heated mirrors, back window, and front wiper area where your wipers sit, mode change where the airflow is, you've got AC, max AC, Automatic transmission, of course. You do have a manual mode, so if you're in drive, you can pull towards you, and then you would use your paddles, upshift, downshift. You can see in the bottom left there, it says first, and you can actually start off in second should you want. It'll only let you go into certain gears based on how the speed that you're going. So you can't start off driving in sixth. Parking brakes are now electronic. Up to turn it on. With your foot on the brake, you push down and it goes off. We've got auto vehicle hold, which is a brake holder for construction traffic, drive through traffic, rush hour traffic in a place that isn't print storage. X mode, traction control. X mode's kind of like 4x4 low in a pickup. Changes your transmission gearing, your throttle response. It locks the all wheel drive, 50% power for, to the front, 50% power to the rear. It's for that really gross stuff. Most people are not gonna need to use it, but it is a nice aid and enhancement. And then, heated seats high and low for both the driver and the passenger and then up top here we have the red sos button the blue roadside slash concierge button we've got our sunroof control and then this is lane sway assist where it'll start beeping at you if you start changing lanes without signaling and then that's your automatic emergency braking both of those systems use the two eyesight cameras and actually in bc Automatic emergency braking will save you 10% on your basic insurance through ICBC. So uh, not only can it stop you from having an accident, it can actually save you a little bit of money. So that's a brief overview of the 2022 Subaru Forester Touring. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Print Storage. Talk to you guys soon.